Hey everybody, Stephen Key here. Thanks for watching. And today I want to talk about killing the deal. You know, I've seen this happen many, many times. You do all this hard work, right? You've, you've put together some wonderful sales material. Your sell sheet looks great. You've got this great one minute video showing a problem and solution. You made your list of companies, you've called them up. And sure enough, one's, one shows some interest. And so you start to, uh, start to build a relationship. You're asking questions. You're doing everything I, I talk about in all these books and all these, these videos. And guess what? Um, they send you over a kind of a licensing agreement. And, and before you know it, um, you kill the deal. I, I see that happen all the time. Uh, and it's a, it's a shame because you work so hard but now some of the, 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 I call it the dance, you're kind of dancing, you're kind of dating, but you're, sometimes you're saying the wrong thing. Um, you know, sometimes at the very beginning, when they ask you for a, a royalty rate, you're, you're asking for too much. Um, and they, they might say to you, you know, what are you looking for? And you might say, well, you know, I'm looking for uh, 8% or 10% or something. And, and what's, what's wrong about that is that you haven't really asked some of the, the other questions that go along with that. You don't really know their business. So when you pull a number out of thin air, what does that really mean? What does that 10% or 8% really mean? Um, if you don't know the, the, the potential, if you don't know the, the potential revenue or how many you're gonna sell, those numbers don't mean anything. So you really have to do the math. You have to ask them some very important questions at the very beginning. And you have to realize at the very beginning, you can ask a lot of questions and they'll probably tell you uh, everything. Uh, you're, they'll probably give you answers for everything you're, you're, you're asking. They won't do that later. So you have to be really careful. Hold on, I've got someone trying to reach me. Okay, so what I'm saying here is if you don't understand that dance, what's happening, you could say the wrong thing. Um, a lot of people might ask for minimum guarantees right up front, which is really important. I write about it. You need to have some type of clause um, that makes sure that they're going to keep on selling your product. If not, you get it back. But do you say that at the very beginning? Uh, no, you don't do it at the very beginning because it's a deal killer. You know what it is? It's like going on a date for someone you don't even know. And next thing you know, you're talking about all the things that have gone wrong uh, in, in your relationships. You don't do that. You, you do those a little bit later. So I, I, I've seen that many, many times. You know what else I've seen? Um, once it starts going further and you're talking and maybe you have a licensing agreement, you're, you're, you're arguing over things that don't really matter at the end of the day. They just don't. And soon enough, you're, you're, you're making your potential licensee pretty tired. And in fact, so tired, he walks away from the deal. I've seen that happen too. Um, you, you've got a small window to, to kind of be reasonable and be smart and ask questions. It's really team building and the right attitude has everything to do with it. But if you keep on wearing these guys down, they're going to walk away. I, I've seen that so many times um, that it just kills the deal, you guys. Um, other ways of killing the deals, bring an attorney in. You know, this is gonna sound t terrible because a lot of us think, well, I'm just gonna bring my, uh, an attorney in. Um, no, um, that's not the right strategy to do because, you know, an attorney, your patent attorney um, is definitely not the one you wanna get involved at all when it comes to a licensing agreement. Uh, you want a licensing attorney, but you don't want a licensing attorney at the very beginning. Because the minute you bring one in, they're going to bring one in too. Next thing you know, you get these two attorneys and uh, they get paid um, by giving advice and they get paid by fighting for you. And they're going to kill it because they're going to they're going to fight so much that everybody's going to get tired and they're going to rack up this really big bill for you and you're not going to get the deal done. I, I've I've never used a, a licensing attorney that way ever. I, I use them maybe later at the very end when I'm ready to sign it, I have them come in, but I never do that. I negotiate all these deals myself or, 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 um, you know, or David Fidewa, one of our main coaches, which does a great job. He does a lot of the negotiations behind the scenes that, that really gets the job done. 
So I guess what I'm saying here is two things. Be careful when you, you get that company that's interested in it and be reasonable, be smart, know the, the words, know, know um, enough about a licensing agreement that you're not just stabbing at the dark. Don't pull numbers out of the thin air. Ask the right questions that make sense. Um, don't ask for too many things up front later. There's a list of all this stuff. I could go on forever about this. Um, it's very critical. It's a very delicate dance. And you don't want to step on your partner's toes because I've seen more deals go south because of lack of experience. There you go. Uh, Stephen Key here. Thanks for watching. And make sure you're watching our other two coaches and their, their channels. Um, Ask David Fidoa. He does a wonderful job. You've got um, Amy Jo over there. Uh, it's going to tell you exactly how to get the licensing deals done. If you haven't checked them out, please do. Uh, those two of our best coaches, and we have a lot of coaches. They're not our best coaches, but they're good. Um, make sure you, you listen to them. They know what they're talking about, but keep listening, keep watching. And if you have any questions, send them on over. I'll try to answer them for you. Once again, this is Stephen Key, and thanks for watching. Bye.